the cattle have come from all over all over Kenya and now they're coming and moving into these places where can't sustain this there's no doubt you do this year in and year out it's within within two years two three years there's there'll be nothing here battle group training provides income for hundreds of kenyans whether through animal management or as actors in the exercises for the two men who manage this land gavin williamson's visit provided reassurance for the future yeah fantastic to see the defense secretary out here um really great and listening to him, uh, it looks like the agreements are all getting signed with the Kenya Defence Forces and Kenya government. Um, so it looks like it's here to stay. Yeah, he's just brought some great news. So that's going to help all of us in the Kipya. Yeah. These invasions are coming from from the north, and as far as we can we can tell, it seems to be tribal expansionism by Samburu and Pakot tribes. They formed an alliance. So I think we can. We can put the blame on the, the Samburu leaders, mostly, that have, that have caused this problem. And also because it's coming into an election year, I think what they would like to do is to, is to drive out members of the other tribes, mostly Turkana and Kikuyu. The damage that has been done to this farm is unbelievable. Um, boreholes have been destroyed, generators, staff housing. Um, there's 34 kilometers of electric fence has been destroyed, energizers stolen, solar panels stolen. Um, the security, the radios have been stolen. Um, the internal paddocking, which wasn't electric, um, but it's over 50 kilometers of fencing. Um, that, that was slowly done over, you know, since for the last 50 years. So to rebuild that is a huge cost financially. Um, it's scary money. It's really scary money. Yeah, this is the most beautiful room with the most amazing view. My bedroom. But there's the bullet hole. It's, it doesn't make you feel, feel safe or sleep very well. Um, pretty scary. <laughs> 